obstetrics and medicine in general had this idea the baby could not be having a real experience. He moved my hand. He moved it over there, yeah. When I am looking through the eyes of love. Now, one of the things the medical profession I think must need learn, and I'm really strong about this, is to really find out about what are the rhythms, what are the tempos that we need to move at so that the babies can flourish and the mom's bodies can function the way they're designed to function. Every mother knows how to give birth. Every baby knows how to birth. Nobody has to go to school to figure it out. And when the medical world, in their own internal rhythm, is going It's based on an educational system that, in, that, that fosters exhaustion and sleep deprivation. It's not possible for the practitioner to be in themselves enough to come from a truly centered place to really make the kinds of decisions and have the kinds of connection and quality of contact that not just the patient needs or the, the mother and baby and the family, but the kind of quality of contact and, and connection that the practitioner needs as well. If this change happens, the way medicine is practiced will change, change radically. So here's the radical idea that every practitioner who engages in some way or way, shape or form with patients, especially the prenates, mothers, families, partners, that they do the work themselves so they can actually come into attunement with the rhythms that they need to, to be moving at so they can thrive within themselves and, and integrate their being as, as much as they possibly can. When the practitioner does that, doctor, heal thyself. When the practitioner does that, doctor, heal thyself. That person becomes an example and lives the talk. And when that occurs, you don't have to get into compliance issues. Because the people, the, the patients will be inspired to comply. Because the physician is living the talk. <laughs>